School districts will be collecting that data all evening long. Here in Newton, they do plan to start school tomorrow. Some school districts will have a two hour delay. Some will start on Wednesday, but across the state tonight, they are testing for the virus. How are you? Doing all right. So here's the kit. From Groveland to Cambridge, every public school district in the state was getting its rapid test out to faculty and staff before school starts on Monday. We've seen this for the last two years, ever since COVID came into play, that you have to be ready to adapt and pivot uh, regardless of what, depending on what data comes in. If staff test positive, we're going to make sure that they, they are not in the building and we have plenty of coverage. Tomorrow will be a perfect storm. But not everyone is on board with this weekend's testing, including the Mass Teachers Association that has been critical of the state's plan, saying testing should have been better organized. It says two, but there's really one in there. We did find some districts that had to split up test kits to make sure all teachers and staff were rapid tested before Monday. Many parents we spoke with were on board with testing all right, as okay. kids head back Here from winter is. break. I think they are doing the right thing. We want to be safe, all of us. Testing is one of the ways out of this pandemic, so um, it's, it's one of the tools that we have and we should employ it. We have to take this one step at a time, and that is why the, in, the MTA continues to take the prudent approach that Monday become a day for testing and analyzing data, which then gives local school districts the ability to decide how they want to manage the rest of the week. Late today, the MTA is reporting that the state may have unknowingly been giving out defective masks, but tonight it is all about districts as they get set to return students back after winter break. Reporting live in Newton, I'm Ted Wayman, WCVB, News Center 5.